Good evening, everyone. Hello. Hello, Bea, how are you? You're muted. <laughs> so, hi, Bea. As always, hi. Alejandro Narbona, your service on behalf of English Corporativo. How are you tonight? Oh, good. I'm fine. All right, fantastic. Yeah. It's good that you're on time. I like that. So, um, Bea, last mm -hmm. class we actually worked with present perfect versus simple past. Do you have a question about that topic? Tienes alguna pregunta acerca del tema present perfect versus simple past? Mm -hmm. No, realmente no, no así, no mucho, pero sí le quería preguntar algo. Diga. Ahora en el grupo nos mandaron unas cosas que decía que había que terminar las actividades para como finalizar el curso, algo así. Uh -huh. Exacto. Entonces, ese, bueno, yo estuve haciendo uno, pero el jueves no, no me pude conectar. Uh -huh. Entonces realmente no sé qué, qué fue lo, como que lo que estuvieron viendo, ¿verdad? Okay. Intenté completar todos los ejercicios, pero los últimos ya no, ya no los pude hacer. ¿De cuáles? ¿Del final de la última evaluación? Ajá, es que... Uh, sí, de 4.12 creo que. Let me check. One moment. Mm, that will be from the previous one. Give me just a second so I can go back to that one. Section, section four. All right, while I'm looking for them, what is the what is 4.12 about? The case of 4.12, mientras llego. Um, no sé si se pronuncia así, pero modify, algo así. Let me check, let me check, let me check, let me check. Oh, modifiers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got it. All right, so let me go to the knowledge check. Just one moment, it's sending mm -hmm. me to, to section four, just one moment. Hey, what's up, Gio? Hey. Good to mm. see you. Good to see you too. Yes, three of us. What, 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 what? For the people. Don't worry, they will come. <laughs> All right, so right now what I'm doing is looking for an exercise right here that Bea asked me about, the one with the modifiers. Modifiers. Okay, just a second. Uh, so you mean modify the 4.13, Bea? 4.13? O la clase. Uh -huh. Do you mean the knowledge 4. check? 13. O sea, oh. en realidad no sabía. Uh -huh. All right, very good. Now, in the meantime, les voy a mandar la playlist. All right, cualquier cosa, si algún día no pueden, I understand that you might be busy. And you can actually log in. Pueden loguearse siempre. O ver en la página de YouTube, ahí están todos los videos. Por si alguna clase ustedes no se pueden conectar, pues ahí está toda la información. Okay. All right. So this one, pretty much what you gotta do, I don't know if you are in, in exercise number one. Clark is the tall guy, period. He is wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. So lo que tú tienes que hacer es unir ambas, así como te sale en el ejemplo. To do the fijas, let me, I'm not going to give you all of the answers, but I'm going to, hello, Marcia is here, Jorge, thank you. I'm going to share this real quick with you. All right. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So pretty yeah. much what you got to do is get them together. Clark is the guy, it's one sentence, and then you have, he's wearing a button-down shirt and cargo pants, that's another one. One answer will be Clark is the tall guy wearing a button-down shirt. 
Okay, so pretty much what you're doing is eliminating the subject and the auxiliary to be. Eliminamos el sujeto y el auxiliar to be para unirlo. Okay? So, Clark es el chico alto que está usando okay, una camisa de botón y un pantalón descargo. All right, so it's the same with all of them. Pretty much what you do is that you eliminate the subject from the second one and the auxiliary to be. Okay, so right here it will be Adam and Luz or Lowe's are the good looking couple talking to Tom. Talking to Tom. Clear? All right, yeah. very good. So you can do the exercise. And if you have any further question, let me know, all right? So, recapping, Gio, Marcela, thank you, Jorge, we got Moises, Jorge Alberto. All right, so let's go to part number five. Were you able to finish the knowledge check, guys? Yes. Yeah. All of yes. you? Yes. Yes. All right, no questions about the knowledge check. Mm -hmm. Speak now or be quiet forever. <laughs> All right. So if you have no question, guys, let's go. How do you say? Vamos a darle lo que venimos. Let's see if someone remember. Let's go to the business. Let's get down to business. There you go. Down, I start. Down, down. Let's get down yeah. to business. Let's get down to business. A lo que venimos. All right. So let me go ahead and share this with you guys. Today you will be talking a lot. Vamos a tratar de que estén hablando lo más que puedan el día de hoy. So, read it with me. 5.10. 5.10. 10. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Objective. Lesson objective. All right, very good. Oh, Marce, you're there. Help me out and read this. 5.10, lesson objective. 5.10, lesson objective. Objective. Very good. In this session, the use of for and since will be explained throughout an audio. And this, this session, session, the session, the use of for and since will be explained, will be explained, explained throughout audio. Throughout audio. And audio, not the expression, expressions. Note the expressions. Note the expressions. Note the expressions. All right. Very good. So in this session. In this, this session, 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 the use of for and since, the use, the use of for, for and, for and, and since. since. Here is, I don't know if you can see, but we have F and F. So we're gonna, yeah. leave. we don't say of for. Of of for. for. Lo decimos junto, of for. Of for. Of for. Of for. Of for. Exactly. Okay. In this session, the use of for and since, in this session, will be explained. Will be explained. Will be explained, will be explained throughout. 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 throughout okay. here, audio. We're gonna do the th unvoiced sound. Vamos a hacer el sonido de la th muda, la que no produce sonido. Y vamos acá con la lengua debajo de los dientes de conejito. Sacamos el aire como que es teta. Costumbre, tío. Wait. Pausa y regresamos. Pausa. So, listen to me first and then you repeat. Okay? So, through. Throughout. 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 Que suene suavecito. Si suena como tru, está mal. Español y suave. Throughout. 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 All right, let me check. Let's get a lot of victims right here. Yeah, throughout. 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 Again, Gio? Throughout. Saca un poco más la zapato. Throughout. Throughout. Que suene, que suene, sáquelo. Throughout. 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 Vamos a trabajar en esa, Gio. Marce. Throughout. Muy, muy duro, muy españolizado, guys. Throughout. Hagan esto conmigo. Simplemente throughout. el aire por unos cinco segundos. Throughout. Throughout. Come on, desinflense. Throughout. Eso se escucha aquí <ríe> el micrófono. A ver si me escuchan bien. 
Chao. Démosle, Chao. desinfle por la boca, desinflase Chao. por arriba. Okay. <risa> so, vamos a desinflarnos por un par de segundos para que adoptemos o despertemos conciencia de cómo es la articulación. Todos esperen, todavía no. Ahora ustedes. Ahí está, un montón de serpientes que tengo en la clase. Okay. Una vez hayamos sacado ese sonido de la TH, que es muy importante, muy común, vamos a sacar el... En that one, guys, desde ya, como tarea, necesito que manden un audio mencionando o, o pronunciando throughout. Para mañana de la clase, acuérdenme de mandarles tal vez un tongue twister o un audio para que ustedes practiquen. Ah, ya sé lo que les voy a mandar. Ok, very good. So, let's continue para que no nos come el tiempo. Throughout. Good, Moisés. Throughout. Ahí vamos, Jorge. Throughout. All right, Gio, esto se me desapareció. Ah, no, ahí está todo bien. <laughs> no, All right, very good. Throughout audio. Throughout. Throughout, throughout audio. Throughout audio. Throughout audio. Throughout audio. Throughout audio. Throughout audio. Know the expressions. Know the expressions. Very good. Practice makes perfect, guys. En esta clase, el uso de por y desde serán explicadas a través de un audio. Con atención a las expresiones para cada palabra. Let's do it. Let me go ahead and stop the share so I can share it with sound. Just one moment. Because we got to practice a lot today. There we go. All right. Everyone, mute your microphones, please. Get it started. Hello, in this session, the use of for and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years, for a week, for a month, for hours, for two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with for. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since all right, guys, so here we can see the use of for. All right. Who can tell me what is for in Spanish? For. For. Exactly. So, how do you say for six years? For, for six years. For six years. For six years. For ten 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 years. Okay, very good. How do you say? Déjeme ponerle mute a esta cosa. All right, let's close it. I'm going to send you the, the links of the next exercise in a minute. How do you say por una semana? Por a week. Por a week. Mm -hmm. Por un mes. Por a month. Por a month. Por, month. por cinco meses. Por five, five months. months. Five months. Exactly. Por dos horas. Por two, two hours. hours. Por two hours. Por two hours. Exactly. So, como ustedes pueden ver, guys, as you can see, we're going to use four with periods of time. Okay. Yes. Vamos a usar yes. for para periodos de tiempo. Okay. Uh, ¿Quién okay. está encadenado? Digo, casado. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ya veo Marcela diciendo lo siento. All right. 
<laughs> Marcela, how long have you been married? Uh, for four years. Very good. <laughs> so, as you, I'm kidding. Todo esto broma. Um, si puedo, como podemos ver, estamos ocupando un periodo de tiempo. All right. She has lived here for 20 years. Who can tell me the meaning in Spanish? Ella, ella ha vivido por 20 uh -huh. años ahí. Ajá, ella ha vivido acá por 20 años, periodo de tiempo. Y aquí si se fijan, guys, pueden cambiar nada más el nombre, el número, perdón. For 20 years. ¿Cómo se dice 30 años? 30 years. 30 years. 30 years. 30 years. Ajá, por 50 años. For 50 years. 50 years. 50 years. 50 years. Esto váyanlo, váyanlo anotando o tómenle screenshot porque lo vamos a ocupar, ¿ok? So, we have taught at this school for a long time. Who can tell me that in Spanish? What? Okay. ¿Quién me puede ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál es eso? El significado, we have taught at this school for a long time. We have taught. I don't know what, I don't know what that means, taught. Uh, Todd. All right, uh, don't worry about it. Thank you for asking. Todd is the past of T. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. Ella ha enseñado por este, en esta escuela por mucho tiempo. Exactly. Hemos we, enseñado. We, hemos we, enseñado. Ajá, hemos enseñado en esta escuela por bastante tiempo. For a long time. For a long time. So, si for a long time es por mucho tiempo, por bastante tiempo, ¿cómo decimos por un tiempo corto? For a short time. Short time. Short time. Exactly, for a short time. All right, very good. Um, Alice has been married for three months. Ella ha estado casada por tres meses. Ok, todavía todo bonito. Qué bien por ella. Right. <laughs> <laughs> ok, so, um, they have been at the hotel for a week. Ellos han estado en el hotel por una semana. Exactly. So, ¿tenemos claro, guys, cuándo se ocupa for? Yes. yes. As el what, what are there? They are there. All right. ¿Alguien me entiende el por? Que yo con gusto lo explico. No? Okay. Very good. Next one. Let's continue. Since, that's a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock, I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. All right, so who can tell me what is the difference? Hello, Shamara. Who can tell me what is the difference between for and since? Alguien que pueda que yo lo explique. For y desde. Since es como desde. Uh -huh. Ajá. Since es desde. And for es por. For. For. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, say with me. Desde, since this morning. 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 Uh -huh. Since this morning. Desde esta mm -hmm. mañana. Es un tiempo específico. Mm -hmm. How do you say desde esta tarde? Since this, 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 this afternoon, correct. How do you say this day, esta noche? This night, this night. Very good. Anotenlo, guys. That would be since tonight. Tonight. Mm -hmm. Tonight. Since tonight. Since tonight. Since tonight. Correct. Since tonight. Ese es un es algo que todos cuando estamos aprendiendo traducimos todo literalmente. La mayoría de cosas se puede, pero hay unas como esta. No vamos a decir this night, vamos a decir tonight. Ok. Since tonight. Very tonight. good. So, how do you say desde la semana pasada? Since, Since last, last week. week. Since last week. Last week. Exactly. Desde el mes pasado. Since last, Since last, last month. month. Mm -hmm. last Since last month. month, correct. Desde el verano pasado. Since sí, last, last summer. Last summer. Last summer. Okay. So, como pueden ver ustedes para que se lo aprendan bien, pueden ir dividiendo en categorías. Tenemos since, 
mañana, tarde, noche. Uh, since last, last night, desde noche, last year, años, meses, semanas, etc. Next one, since yesterday, what is the meaning? Yeah, yeah. Yesterday. Uh -huh. Desde ayer. Desde ayer. Very good. Hey, how, how do you say desde antier? Day after. Um, <laughs> Anti yesterday. The day after. Tomorrow. Before yesterday. After the day before yesterday. Before. ¿Cómo? The day before. Since the day before yesterday. The day before the day. yesterday. Mm. Uh -huh. The day before yesterday. Ajá, uh -huh. so that's good. Yeah. Esa es la idea, dar las cosas a day before from. Let me see if I can. I don't think I can. I can use the chat right here. Okay, please remind me and I'm going to use the chat because I don't know if I can use it while I'm sharing the screen. All right, so how do you say this? Desde que era un niño? Since, Since I, I was, was a child. child. Since I was a child. Since I was a child. Desde que me gradué. I was graduated. Since I was a graduate. Since I was a graduate. Almost, almost. Acá, guys, si nos fijamos, desde que era un niño, por eso tiene el was, porque estamos ocupando el verbo to be. All right? Pero si ocupamos cualquier otro verbo, como por ejemplo, graduarse, ya sería simple past. Sería since I graduated. Graduated. I graduated. So, how do you say desde que me casé? Since I married. Since I was married. Since I got 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 married. Todos que lo pueden ocupar. Next one, since Wednesday. Since Wednesday. Since Wednesday. Since Wednesday. How do you say this morning? Since Monday. Since Monday. Since Monday. Since Sunday. Since Sunday. Very good. Ahí vamos, vea. Self-explanatory. Lo podemos ocupar con los siete días. Next one. Since two o'clock. Since two o'clock. Mm -hmm. How do you say desde las cuatro? Since four o'clock. Four o'clock. Desde medianoche. Since midnight. Desde mediodía. Since noon. Very good. Desde las 10 de la mañana. Since 10 a.m. Podríamos decir since 10 a.m. or since 10 in the morning. In the morning. Cualquier morning. So, si ustedes se fijan, guys, vamos analizando patrones. En el primero tenemos. La mañana, tarde, noche. Luego tenemos con last, el año pasado, semana pasada, etc. Desde ayer, desde el día antes de ayer, desde que era chico, desde que me casé, desde que me gradué, desde que trabajo aquí, desde que me enamoré de ti, si andan de románticos. Un momento específico, desde que te odio, si ya sí. Since I hate you. There you go. <laughs> Desde y los días de la semana, de lunes a domingo. Luego tenemos since 2 o'clock y ahí podemos meterle horas. De las 10 p.m., etc. Esto lo vamos a ocupar. <coughs> All right. How do you say, well, we have this. I have worked here. He trabajado acá desde, how do you say, 1990. 1980. 1980. 1990. 1990. 1990. 1990. 1990. 1990. 1990. ¿Cómo se dice adolescente en inglés? Teenager. Teenager. Teen, ¿verdad? Teenager. Teen o young. Exacto. So, entonces, para que ustedes se acuerden de eso. Teen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Teen. Todos los que llevan teen es la edad de la adolescencia. Quizás ese tip les pueda ayudar. Teen. All right. Very good. So, is this clear? Yep. Yes. 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 All right. Yes. 
Very good. So guys, this is what I have for you. I'm gonna break the rooms because right now I wanted to practice, practice, practice. I'm gonna break the room and I'm gonna show you this. Okay? I'm gonna send the link to you, to the chat, and I want, or you know what? Let's do it together. Scenes or four? Easter. Okay, it says four. For two weeks. For Easter. Easter. Uh, Scenes. Right. <laughs> Veamos. Specific moment. Ocupamos yes. Scenes. Periods of time. Periodo de tiempo. Ocupamos four. Four. Easter. Mm -hmm. Eastern. Mm -hmm. ¿Alguien sabe qué es Eastern? Sí, Pascua. Pascua. ¿Y qué es Pascua? Pascua es como la Semana Santa, ¿no? Uh -huh. Ajá, después. Una It's a period de of time. Uh -huh. Ok, veamos. So, scenes or four? Scenes. 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 Two weeks. Four. 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 Two weeks. Four. 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 Two weeks. Two weeks. My birthday. Since my birthday last summer, since 1999, since Sé que voy rápido, guys. Four. Me están dando las respuestas. Long, a long time? For a long time. For a long time. For a long time. Six o'clock? Four. Six o'clock. Four or since? Since. 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 Okay. Let's go ahead and take Let's see what we got. Okay. Right. guys. Very good, congratulations. Pop, pop, pop. As you can see, you got this clear. ¿Estamos? Okay. Any questions? Uh -huh. No questions. Ese silencio se todo está claro. ahora. All right, so analicemos super rápido. Easter ¿Mm? es Pascua. That will be specific time, right? Specific time. Dos semanas, periodo de tiempo. Periodo de tiempo. Cumpleaños. Specific time. Specific time. El último verano. Specific time. 1999. Specific time. Too. Specific time. Diez días. Period of time. Period of time. Un par de minutos. Period of time. First of April. Specific time. Specific time. A long time. Period of time. Specific time. Specific time. All right, very good. Fantastic. Now, let's go ahead and change it. Bye, guys. In this one, these are questions, all right? Son 200, okay? No, 200, nada más. No, no. <laughs> we only have 20. I'm going to share the link with you guys. And you're going to do this in groups. Please. You have 20. 20, 20 minutes? No, 20 questions. No. <laughs> you have 20, 20 questions. And you have 10 minutes. Okay? Tratemos de hacer uno cada 30 segundos. Analicemos acá. All right? Yo creo que en 10 minutos es tiempo más. All right, so I'm gonna break the rooms, guys. Please accept. Okay, let's go. It's, done. it's a piece of cake. It is a piece of cake. Accept the invitation, and when I ask you to come back, let's come back as fast as possible. Right? Okay. All right, this is her. Let's make this happen. Uh, I think I lost it. No. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Give me just a second. I think I What's going on? Hmm, slow down. Just a second, please. <laughs> All right. 
just a minute. I got it back. All right, so I'm gonna send this to you now that I have it. All right, link is there. I'm gonna break, break the rooms. And let's do it. You got 10 minutes, all right? Okay. I'll be visiting you one by one. Please accept the invite. All right, so we're Mrs. Xiomara, Laura. There we go. Let's visit them. Tienen el link. Ahorita. It's in the chat, by the way. All right, so someone sent it. What you can do, guys, is someone open open the link on the computer and share the image. Remember. All right, go ahead and share the image, guys. Are you guys having issues with the with the link? Están teniendo problemas con el link, guys? Yes. Yes. Ah. Yeah. All right. I se, lo, se los mandé al chat. Lo que pueden hacer es solamente darle clic. Pero es que me abre otra página. Ajá, a mí también. O sea, solo le doy clic y me abre otra página en donde están como otros ejercicios. Ahorita voy a buscar el. Solo de... póngale show all the questions. Ahí, el, al arriba a la derecha de la primera, show all the questions, y ahí le va a salir. ¿Lo pueden ver? No me deja. Espera. El primero es, she has not appeared here. Ah, acaba de lo que mandó Jan y es lo que veo yo. Ok, so... Sí, yo también. Yo también. A la derecha sale, show questions one by one. Shows question by PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. All right, so you gotta click here. Can you see? Pero es que no me sale eso. Lo que pasa es que no me deja seleccionar by by. Eh. O sea, sale en el primero, sale una de las preguntas y entonces ahí sale show eh, show all question, pero no me deja seleccionarlo. Me tira después a la página que mandó Yanni ahí. All right, so do me a favor. Alguien tome el screenshot, por favor. Y mándenlos al grupo completo. Pero ya lo mandó Yanni. ¿Ya lo tienen? Yanni lo mandó. All right. Mm, a mí lo, me parece lo mismo que Yanni. All right, let me go ahead and, Let's go back. Don't worry. Let's go ahead and, and leave the, the break room. I'm going to explain this to everybody. See you in the main session. All right, so I'm just waiting for everyone to come back because we were having some issues estuvimos teniendo problemas con la website so I'm having everyone back to show how it's done para enseñarles cómo se pueden conectar 
I'm just waiting for them to come back. All right, so thank you, Yesenia. We're gonna wait for the rest of the people. They should be coming back pretty soon. All right, guys, so you are all back. Let me see. Yeah, we have them back. I know that some of you were having issues with the website, right? Algunos de ustedes estuvo teniendo problemas accesando la website. Yep. Okay. Just a bit. <laughs> Just a bit. So let me show you. Let me show you how it's done. So you can get it together. Or if not, let's go ahead and fix it as the group, okay? Let me open it right quick. And let's go ahead and share. <clears throat> so, this is what you saw when you opened the link, right? Esto es lo que tienen que ver cuando vieron el link. Yes. Así yes. le sale? Yes, they're right. No. All right. So, no. <laughs> no. Okay. So, let's do this. Here, you're going to click on show all the questions. Yes. Okay, and here is now you should be able to see everything. Okay, yes. Now, pudieron acceder a esto o los que no pudieron háganmelo saber por favor. No, yo no. A mí me salía la primera pregunta y cuando le tenía que dar para escoger, o sea que muestre las demás eh, preguntas, este, eh, ya no me dejaba seleccionar y me salía la lista que mandó. Que mandaron a Yanni. Ajá, ah, yeah. cierto, a mí también. Me sale lo mismo que a Yanni. So, to save time para recuperar el tiempo, let's go ahead and do it in group. All right? Now, I have collected stamps. And then we have the ah, yeah. So, the age of the <coughs> What is that? The age of the Things. 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 Things for... Since the age of yes. 10. I have collected stamps since the age of 10. She has been an English teacher since 1888. 1989. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. All right, correct. Why? Because it is a specific, a specific time. 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 Let's continue. She hasn't spoken English. Her last holiday in the U.S. Since her last holiday in the U.S. Since her last holiday. Since. Correct. Very good. This is specific time. Their flat has not been redecorated. Flat guys is most likely used. Si tienen alguna palabra que no saben qué es, díganmelo. Es bandera. For, ah, for no. Last, no, perdón, plan. perdón. All right, plan. Flat plan. is plano. Plan. Uh -huh. Pero en inglés británico, flat es un apartamento. <laughs> Let's me. Ah. Apartamento. So flat apartment. Is Apartamento, apartment in British English and in English Britannic. British. Um, right. So their flat has not been redecorated. Redecorated for for the last time. For, for the last for the last five years. Five years. Correct. Very yeah. good. Why? Los últimos cinco años es un periodo de tiempo. Excellent. Next one. She has been preparing for exams. She has. For the last two months. Are you sure? Since. Since. Since the last. Since the last. For. Since. She has been preparing for exam. The last five years. 
the last two months. Patrones, four. ¿verdad? Yeah. ¿Qué sería entonces? Four. Four. Four, correct. Ahí, va, ahí vemos los mm. patrones, guys. Next one. Si tienen alguna pregunta, if you have a question with vocabulary, let me know. They have been skying, skiing, perdón, skiing since lunch. Sí, es correcto. Lunch specific time. Skiing es esquiando. Mm. It hasn't rained in this region for at least five months. For 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 at least for lo menos cinco meses. Since for 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 why for and not since. Yes, a specific time or or period of time. Period. Period. Yes. Period of time. Correct. For the last, for los últimos, for al menos, perdón, cinco meses. Es un periodo de tiempo. Next one. We have been playing poker. Greater part of the night. La mayor parte de la noche. Four. 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 Six. ¿Quién da más? ¿Quién da más? ¿Quién da más? Four. Four. La mayor parte de la noche. Estamos hablando de un periodo de tiempo o un... ¿Dice desde las nueve de la noche? No. No. Mm -hmm. no. It's four. four. A ver. For the greater part of the night. Correct. Correct. Four. It's four. A ver, la mayor parte del tiempo de la noche. She has not appeared here. Christmas. Since. 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 Correct. Mm -hmm. Very good. He has been a tennis player. Since. 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 Very good. We have not been to the seaside for 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 for, for, for last for, town. Are you sure? Since. 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 Since or four? No, it's Since. it's la. Last is for is for último junio. ¿Qué estamos tomando en cuenta? Desde el último junio. Desde junio. Okay. July. Period of time. August, September, October, November. November. Since. Since. Last June, correct. Yes. Desde el último junio. Ahí vamos, guys. Estas son a veces balas cur eh, bolas curvas. We have been waiting <laughs> for you. Your phone call. For your phone call. Sense. 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 Te, he estado, te hemos estado esperando desde, desde, desde llamada. su llamada. Desde tu llamada. Uh -huh. Period of time. Very good. He has been a party member for, 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 for 10 years. years. Yes. Very good. Ya vamos agarrando. Fantastic. She has been in London for last summer. For last summer. For last summer. For last summer. Are you sure? Since last summer. 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 Since last Since last summer. Since last summer. Since last Since Since last Since Since They have been playing tennis? Since last summer. Since Since they since have it since midnight. Since since breakfast. Since breakfast. Since breakfast. Specific time, right? Time. Not a period. I have known him since, since childhood. Since, 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 since childhood. Since childhood. Plastic. They have been quarreling since midnight. Since, since midnight. 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 Four or since? Four. Since. 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 Correct. Since. She has been singing? For two hours. For two, two hours. Two hours. Four hours. Correct. And the last one. I haven't seen this film. Since. For a 
Age. Ages. Who can tell me what is the meaning of ages? Ages. Años, no. Ajá. Años. Exacto. Entonces, años, ¿qué es? Específico. Un periodo de tiempo. Period. Ajá. Periodo de tiempo. For ages. For ages. For ages. For ages. For ages. Congratulations. Your score is 100%. Okay. Do we understand the difference between for and since? Yes. 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 For yes. periods and since a specific time. Fantastic. All right, guys. So this is what we're going to do now. You've done a fantastic job. Han hecho un trabajo increíble. Ahora vamos a ver si es cierto. Okay. So, I'm going to share this with you, another link, and please let me know if you can access it. Let's see if this is possible to access it. Check it, please. Revise the link antes que podamos hacer los grupos. Do we have access? Yeah. How long have you lived in this country? Exactly. How long have you lived in this city? Yes. So, you're going to ask these questions to each other. Hey, how long have you lived in this country? Oh, I have lived here since I was a child. How do you say this? They cannot see. I was born. Since, Since I was, I was, I was born. born. So, quiero que todos los miembros del grupo, generalmente van a ser cuatro o cinco, contesten cada una de las preguntas y ver hasta dónde llegamos. All right, los voy a estar visitando y como pueden ver hay una. Let me go ahead and share this with you. Here, guys. How long have you had your car? ¿Cuánto tiempo has tenido tu vehículo? Y aquí ustedes pueden decir, ya sea, he tenido mi vehículo desde el 2014. O he tenido mi vehículo desde el 2014. All right, in English. And then, how long have you had your cat? How long have you had your dog? Etc., etc., etc. ¿Clear? ¿Estamos claros? Guys? Yes. 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 Me sale en español. ¿En español? Sí. Sí. All right. Si no, guys, tómale un screenshot. Please. Pero necesito que nos movamos as fast as possible. Alguien tómale un screenshot, please. Ok. Got it? Yes. All right. Y compartámoslo. So, se van a hacer Hecho. Las preguntas. Entre todos. Send it to the group, please. And I'm going to break the rooms, all right? Okay. Bye. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look how they are doing. For 20 years. Okay. Hoy tendría que preguntar yo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ah, Laura. La, la, la misma. ¿La misma uh -huh. u otra? Ajá, la misma u otra. 
I would recommend you to do the same question, to ask the same question. So At the same. Don't have the chance. Mm -hmm. But okay. let's try to do it fast. For how long have you been married? I have been married four or five years. How long have you been married? I am not married. Thanks God. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> All right. We we see. All right. Let's continue. Mine. How long have you lived in this country, Samara? In this country, I lived for 24 years old. I have, lived, I have lived in this country for 24 years. I have lived in this country for 24 years old. So, solo 24 years. I, ah, 24 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. There you go. Continue. Uh -huh. Laura, uh, how Hi. long have you lived in this town? Okay. In this town, in este pueblo, in esta ciudad, si se pasaron uh, de Tecla a San Salvador, etc. I live in this town for uh, 14 years. Good job. I have lived. I have lived. In this town for 14 years. In this town for 14 years. There you go. Correct. All right. I'm going to go check another another break room. Let's continue, guys. Ocupen present perfect. Okay? Okay. Alguien más que haga otra pregunta? Okay, yo. Um, how long have you know your best friend? Gio? Um, uh, I think 25 years. Since. Okay, so remember, guys. I'm sorry, I'm here nosy, make it, I'm here nosy. Uh, let's use the present perfect. How long have you le have you known your best friend? Acuérdense, la pregunta está la respuesta y viceversa. I have known my best friend for or since 25 years. Since 1998. Okay, there you go. Continue, guys. Okay. How long, how long have you studied English? Good. Sería, uh, JC. I, um, okay, I have uh, studied English. I have studied English um, for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, no. How long have yes? Okay. Eh, okay, a ver. Eh, Jorge Mendoza. Okay. How long have you have your house okay uh, uh, my i have my house uh, I, since i have had i had house i had house have i have i have had had, had since mm -hmm. 2001 2001 okay since very good Okay. okay, how long, how long you uh, studied, Moises? How long? English. How long? How long you you study? Ah, right. pausa. Um, recordémonos, guys, que acá si se pueden fijar estamos ocupando present perfect. Okay, el que vimos la semana pasada. Y vamos a ocupar have you and the verb in past participle. How long have you studied? Study. How long study. did you study? Okay. I studied English 
for five months. Five months. Five months, correct. Uh huh. Okay. Let me see. Okay, Marcela. Mm -hmm. uh, how long have you had your dog? I don't have the. <laughs> okay, but, or uh, cat. Yes, my cat. Okay. I have had my cat uh, for huh, four months. It's a little kitty. It's a kitten. Fantastic. It's a kitten, correct. Marce and guys, this one, when we say month in singular, we say like this month. 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 So when it's plural, we say with month. F. Month. 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 <laughs> Sorry. All right. No, don't worry. Do not apologize. <laughs> Continue, guys. In a few seconds, I'm going to finish the session. Continue. Okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, All right, so let's get the people back. They will start coming back in a few seconds. All right, so we have Danita, Ruth, and we'll be waiting for the rest. Thank you, Carlos. All right, welcome back to you. In the meantime, while the other people is coming, guys, Jorge, Ruth, Janira, Gio, do you have any question about the use of for and since? Mm. Mm. Solo de tener en cuenta los, los tiempos de los verbos siempre. Saberlos usar. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Are we up here? Sí, sure. Mm -hmm. Things is for a specific time. Yeah. Yes. And four? Four period. is periods of time. Oh, okay. Okay. So, guys, um, let's go ahead and do the, the knowledge check on your own. Now, before we leave, quiero ponerles un audio, guys, de la importancia del inglés. All right? Give me just a second. Quiero que escuchen esto. No sé si se va a escuchar. Tengo el training el viernes de 6 de la mañana a 2 y media y es exactamente en el lugar donde yo quería trabajar. Ahora solo me queda pasar el training que voy a dar todo, todo lo, todo lo posible para quedar. Y nada, son cinco semanas y aparte, soy feliz. All right. Arno, no sé si pudieron escuchar, guys. Es una chica súper emocionada por su primer trabajo. Eh, lo logró en inglés, en una cuenta, en un call center, 600 dólares. Para muchos es mucho, para muchos es poquito, pero para ella, vean la emoción. Entonces, guys, ella pasó muchas entrevistas, falló, volvió a tratar, no se rindió. So, mi consejo es, continúen, que a veces sé que no nos queremos conectar, queremos dormir, estar con la familia, no quieres nada, pero paga. Porque siempre, guys, he visto cómo esto le cambia la vida a la gente. Les agradezco que se conectan y síganse conectando. Pero no basta solo con una hora. Háganlo entre ustedes. Creen grupos de WhatsApp. Si tienen amistad, hablen durante el día, lo que puedan. Porque esto les puede abrir muchas puertas. All right. Así que, guys, thank you very much for coming tonight. Yo tengo una pregunta. Yo tengo una pregunta. Go ahead. Eh, es sobre el examen final. Yo no lo he estado haciendo. Hay un listen, hay un complete conversation, shows the correct answer. Eh, yo no he estado haciendo eso, pero no sé si hay que hacerlo o tengo que esperar hasta que tú no lo digas. Hay partes que si no las hemos visto en clase no lo van a poder hacer. 
Lo que pasa es que quizás les están diciendo que lo hagan por la bella costumbre salvadoreña de hacer todo a último momento. Entonces, acuérdense que para cerrar el módulo eso tiene que estar completo y el porcentaje tiene que ser de 80 para que ustedes puedan aprobar. Entonces, si hay partes que ustedes ya las dominan, háganlas. Uh -huh. Y si no, de igual manera, eh, quiero ver, creo que nos queda uno o dos temas gramaticales, tengo que ver eso. De igual manera, yo voy a tratar de ayudarles. No les voy a hacer el examen porque los estuviera engañando, ¿ok? Pero sí, es muy importante que para finalizar el módulo, ustedes ya lo tengan completo. Lo uh -huh. pueden hacer conmigo, lo pueden hacer el día antes y luego pulimos un par de detallitos. Pero cada clase que se va haciendo, vayan completando el respectivo Knowledge Check. Si ustedes se fijan, clase que empezamos, verificamos el Knowledge Check anterior. Uh -huh. All right. Para asegurarme de que todos vayamos comprendiendo y todos vayamos trabajando. Okay. ¿Tienes la pregunta, Yesenia? Sí, sí, sí. Tengo que hacerlo. <laughs> There you go. So, guys, again, thank you very much for logging in. On My name is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. And I hope to see you tonight, the day after tonight, and the night after after tonight. Okay? So have a good okay, one, guys. Okay. Thank you for okay. coming. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.